What's good, my beautiful people? And my ugly people as well? You're about to watch an episode of Charlie Sloth's Wrap Up. Now, the show normally lives on the iPlayer, but it only lives there for 30 days. And my beautiful friends from outside of the UK can't watch the show. So now we're bringing it here to YouTube. Sit back, relax, and enjoy it. Now, remember, if you want to watch exclusive episodes of the Wrap Up, you've got to go to the BBC iPlayer. You can do that by clicking right here. You see that there? Magic fan, man's like Dynamo. I'm a magician inside. The wrap up, cuz, get involved. Happy New Year, people, and welcome back to Charlie's Lost Wrap Up 2016. Oh my gosh. Now let's pick up where we left off last year. Man like Skeppy, aka Skepta, aka Mr. Boy Better Know, continues to win as he did last year as he reveals he has been booked for this year's Coachella. Oh my gosh. In other news, man like Jay Z recently told a British newspaper that he wants to work with One Direction's Harry Styles. He said within a year, he will make man one of the biggest artists on the planet. Imagine that, man like Harry Styles and Jay Z. Oh gosh. Gotta send a massive shout out to Jay Huss, Western, and Section Boys, who of course have been named in the BBC Sound of 2016. Up on the show today, we've got an exclusive interview and live performance courtesy of Joey Badass and Kirk Knight. But first, let's catch up with this week's in house producer who goes by the name of Leaf Dog. Why did they call him Leaf Dog? So, right now, I'm joined in the studio by the one and only Leaf Dog. What's going on, fam? Good? Go on, I'm bro. Bro, first things first, where'd you get the name from? A Leaf, I had it when I was about six, six years old, you know. The dog came out like as time went on, you know. My boy just started calling me Leaf Dog, and that was it, really. How long have you been producing for? Nine years now. Nine years? Nine years. And what record have you been responsible for? I did a song with DJ Premier, Think Twice. That's probably my biggest achievement. <laughs> I work with uh, Yugo from the Wu-Tang Clan, Cool G Rap, KRS-One. Wow, you've been active, cuz. Ah, yeah. So, bro, you've got three records for me to hear today, right? Yeah. What's the first one called? Assassin. Okay, let's get into it. That is sick, bro. That is sick. Is that all played? That's all live, yeah. That is sick, bro. Like when the strings come in. You like that, yeah? That's bad, bro. What's the second one you got for me? Death. Nice name. <laughs> That is dope production, man. Do you know what? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The spray can in the percussion with the yeah, train. Yeah. That's mad. What's the third one? The third one. I'm gonna flip the screen. That's sick as well. Where's that from? Don't know. <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> All three are sick, yeah? And it's like you've got your own little style, your own little vibe going on. But my favourite out of the three, mm -hmm. and the record we're going to hear throughout the entire show today, is beat number one, Assassin. Bro. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Right, that is a bad record. Respect, respect. Oh, gosh. So now I'm joined in the basement, Charlie Sloss Rapper, by Joe Badass, Cut Night, Pull Him Up. Hey, What's going on, man? Bro. My good, it's good fam, good to see you man, good to see you guys, all the time. Now lads, what a year. What a year. What a year. All the time. <laughs> yeah. Every time I see you, it's like the growth is just insane. From when we first met, to us sitting here now. Yeah. Yeah. If you put everything in between that, wow. <laughs> I want to take it back to when it all began. When you first picked up a mic, what age was you and what? inspired you to want to start rapping? I've pretty much been fooling with like rhyming and poetry since I was about um, as early as like pre-kindergarten, kindergarten. I always felt like it was something that was just embedded inside of me. You know, music is something that my family's always been interested in and involved in. So I feel like it was just passed down to me. And what about you, Cut? I started when I was like, 15 going on to a 16, but it was more of like, I was a producer first, so that was always my strong point, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of like, like, I was putting words together in a certain type of way for me to actually start 
like rapping, but the people who inspired me was Joey and Steve. Like seeing them cipher like back to back and his crib back in the hood, like you know what I'm saying? Like that was just an inspiring moment for me to even make me start to have the confidence to rap. So that was like around like 15, 16. Oh gosh! Now last year there was one freestyle platform that done over 50 million views online. You're thinking to yourself, what freestyle platform is that, Sloth? Cuz, what do you think? Fire in the booth. And this week we've got an epic fire in the booth to light up the fire inside your belly because it's cold out there. I'm talking about Machine Gun Kelly. This guy is an absolute beast and he comes through to show exactly why. <laughs> Check this out. Materials make a king, knowledge makes an apprentice. Now ain't that backwards, we impressed by the fame and the Sarah. Shit, my girl a queen, she don't need a tiara. We don't need none umbrella either, just give us the rain. We don't need help, they built the pyramids without a crane. And say sometimes I feel we're born without a brain. They only looking at the dollars, what I'm looking for is change. I'm saying, if that shit doesn't register, might as well get used to stealing singles out the register. Baby mama calling, she need 34 with pedicure. Student alone collector, blow your phone up on a register. Regular. This ain't the near baby. This isn't near baby. Man, we supposed to have a condo in a crib, baby. Uh, but you forgot the first rule of the game. They don't remember riches, they just remember the name. Yeah. Perfect. Hey! Uh, now, of course, you can check out the full fire in the booth on the Saturday night rap show on One Extra and Radio One from 10 p.m. How's the relationship between you guys? I'm pro. How did that all come about? Bro? Our relationship is horrible, right, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever see you two apart. Only time we've been apart was when I was making um, LKS and then he was touring at the same time. Yeah. And I stayed this back. year was like really yeah. the first year like yeah. we, we was apart. Like he went on tour earlier um, with Mick Jenkins. He also just got off tour with the Underachievers while I was touring. It was dope because we always talked about that stuff. Like, yo, one day, you know, we're going to be like touring separately. Cross -touring, like. And, stuff. <laughs> and then the funny thing is, it was like the day we came, it was like two days or three days y'all came, either yeah, before or after. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was but it was dope though, because for this European run, this phase four of my tour, Kirk joined us for this run and he met us in London, and the day he met us on London for the London show, which is my biggest show, it was his birthday. Yeah. Oh, crazy. How was <laughs> <Double turn laughs> perfect. How'd that relationship come about? Junior high school. Yeah? Yeah. yeah <laughs> we was time. in the same class together. It was really like some organic shit, man. Like, we used to just be sitting in class and I used to just tell Kirk, yo, make a beat on the yeah, table. If you give me two pens right now, I can do that shit. Right yeah? Now. Let's do that. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's get two pens. Let's recreate that quickly. Let's take it back. Right right Time is a change. Yeah, right. <laughs> Before everybody used to have it right in their pocket. Like, oh, look, here, here. Here's a pen. <laughs> right, here we go. So we got a table. The cut. Is that, is that a good enough table for you? Yeah. Yeah, you can work with that. Any yeah. table. Uh. That's nuts. Come in, Joey. Give us son. Yo, yo, yo. I said, badass nigga. Please don't disrespect them. Couldn't get a verse, he's too interesting. Punch lines hit him two times. First one slept him. Second one crept in, put him out of projection. Ah. <laughs> He's the yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that's, oh, like, that's how we do back in the day and shit. Like whatever the vibe was, I could just do it on the pens and shit. Like he was the one who told me to take it to a program, actually make beats. Like you know what I'm saying. First it started with it was FL this program Studio. called FL Studio, yeah. and I was like, Yo, Kirk, you gotta download this shit, man, yeah. and, and put your those beats, that shit you do on the yeah. table, it's put that real, into man. some real life shit, man. Yeah. And, uh, that's mad. And be my producer. That's <laughs> crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> it was like fucking 13, 14 or some shit. And you guys are still young now. How old are you now? We're at 20. Yeah. yeah. He just turned 20 yeah. last Monday. Just me, man. <laughs> <laughs> what a time. Man, yeah. <laughs> we all 20, cuz. Down at one edge, so those cameras, they forever rolling. And they didn't stop over Christmas. And there were so many highlights, especially Stormzy coming through just up as Santa Claus. That was a madness. But they say I didn't do it right, but the wrong blood. Name an English rapper, 100 million on their song blood. Nah, I didn't think so. They sat in your drink, bro. We on the elevator screaming, but another hater car. We don't play no games. Yeah. Couple man call me a father Christmas on stage. And the I'm a father Christmas. If that makes me a father Christmas, the man in your bitch. The man in your bitch. Christmas. Out here like the road deep song, man, I'm trying to put my jungle bells on. I do not know this stun. Where do you know me from, young no, Elsa Stone? No. Where do you know me from? Where do you know me from? No, no. All the who girls and boys would make bright and early. They'd rush for their toys. And then, oh, 
the noise, the noise, 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 noise. That's one thing he hated. The noise, noise, noise. This is the rule. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Now London feels like somewhat of a second home. Yeah. You hear a lot. Yeah. More than love most London. American <laughs> artists. <laughs> you hear a lot. What is it that you love about London and the UK? I love London for the fact of, to me, it gives me like a, a New York feel, but it's like an alternate New York, yeah. if you will. The people are, are a little uh, ruder. <laughs> what, ruder here? Yeah, yeah. Really? Nah, I think, nah, I think they're a little bit more yeah. nicer. Wow. New York is aggressive, bro. New York's like, aggressive. Fat, yeah, like... Last time I was in New York, fam, I got it put on me by like 10 rappers to buy their mix CDs, because I got <laughs> hustled. Even I chat to people in the stores, and I'm like, yo, can I get a size nine? You want a size nine? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and buy. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> but London reminds me of New York in a way. It's very fast. It's very, like everything's yeah. 100 I love miles that an hour. Fast pace yeah, yeah. Type of vibe. It inspires me a lot. I would live out here to be honest with you. Hell yeah. Yeah, same. Hell yeah. With you spending so much time here, is there any artists that you're familiar with over here? That Hell you? Yeah. Skepta, Stormzy, Jeremy. Crept and Conan. I fuck with the whole scene out here. Mm. Like, I, I kind of feel a part of it in a way. It's weird. Like, the more we keep coming back over here, it's like I learn more new shit and link up with new people. Little Sims, um, Maverick Saber, of course, y'all know that's Maverick's my man. Crazy. That's my brother <laughs> right there. I love the scene over here. If you could pick one artist over here to work with, who would it be? It'll be Skep. Skep, yeah? Yeah. I have met him in the summer too. He's really cool. Like, what do you think about an, an artist? from the UK popping in the States. Do you think that's feasible? Because obviously Skeppy's doing his thing over there right now. A lot so. of people are paying attention to him over there. I think so. And you know what Skepta is doing too, if he's not gonna be if he's not the artist that's officially gonna break that barrier, because he he already is. But if he's not gonna be the official one to do, he's definitely open the door. He's open the door. I vibe to UK shit. Like I come over here and I fall into a UK club and I'm like fitting right in. Yeah. I'm like that's not me. <laughs> like, you who know what I'm saying? Who who made that? Man don't care about all that. That's that was Gigs right. and JME. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's my job. I just met JME <laughs> in uh, Manchester actually. Yeah? yeah. Did you talk about record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely talking about linking up. Wow. Sloth, Yaksters, Happy New Year, and I hope you had a great Christmas and got all the dope drops you wanted. Now today, I'm standing in AstroTurf because I'm gonna be showing you Raheem Sterling from Man City's clothing brand. It's called Vita Deluso, which stands for Life of Luxury. So let's show you some luxury. Drop one. Here we got the white barcoded trucker. Likes. The art peak on the front of the snap, the mesh material on the back, and the barcoded logo on the front. Drop two. What you're looking at here is the top half of the black rib tracksuit. This is the black rib bottoms. Black. The adjustable zips, the black ripples, and the little compartments on the top of the arms. This is the Starship white tee. Mm. Black. The embossed print on the front. It's a white tee, and I like the cut at the bottom, actually. Hey, Raheem, it's definitely worth a couple sterling, my G. Four and a half yikes. This is probably one of the hardest questions that I have to ask people. Top five hip hop records of all time. I'll tell you my number one. Start with number five. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so mine, probably Kanye West all falls down. Jay-Z, probably regrets. Biggie, sky's the limit. It's your number two now. Tupac, I ain't mad at you. Number one for you, fam. Tupac changes. Favorite song Great of record. all time. Yeah, I was gonna play it all the time. You still play it? Yeah. What? That's my shit. <laughs> Devil in the New Dress. Yeah? Nas My Way from the Lost Tape. I could say that because that song helped me with a lot of things in life. I can't find Um, Eminem's Infinite. You know, it's Infinite. Hold well, on. Ah. I think it's called yeah, it's Infinite. Infinite, Infinite yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so then number three is Infinite. That's, yeah. a, that's a big record. It's crazy fire. how much people don't know about that album. Yeah, that album is fire. I say Tupac do for the love. That's my, that's oh, my yeah. joint right <laughs> I can't front. I just thought about I was like, yo, that song? Oh my God, when I was, changed my life. I would say Biggie Dead Wrong. Wow. That's my favorite, cause just the way he was, yo. How do you know? That's one of my favorite records. Dead Wrong, favorite. The beat, that beat, is, beat is crazy. Boom, boom. That shit is just so loud. Like, I was like, oh. Them snares on that shit too. Hitting, boy. It was popping. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that's one of them beats that you can still play today. Yeah. Exactly. Still feels exactly. Same still same feels big. Still to come on the show this week, we've got an exclusive live performance from Joey Badass and Kirk Knight, and we've got all the gossip from our US correspondent, Valerie Laura. Oh gosh. Hey Charlie, Happy New Year. It's your girl Valerie Laura bringing you all this week's gossip from New York City. Kanye West didn't waste any time dropping new music in 2016. He released facts on New Year's Day. And it looks like he was inspired by your fire in the booth. Sound effects, Charlie. <laughs> Perfect. Yeezy, 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 just jumped over, jump man. Yeezy, 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 I feel so accomplished. Michael Jordan's son was quick to react over the Yeezy jumped over, jump man lyric. He tweeted, Yeezy just jumped over, jump man? LOL, I needed a good laugh to start my 2016. Now I'm sure you're familiar with the latest hip hop dance craze, dabbing. Did I do it right? <laughs> Anyways, 2 Chains ended 2015 on a win. According to Forbes, he earned just under $2 million with his Santa dabbing sweaters. 50 Cent performed his own version of the dab, named the Gangsta Dab, during a performance. <laughs> Kid Cudi started the new year with a goodwill gesture. He decided to take a bunch of his fans to see the new Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens. <laughs> In rappers doing Adele impersonation news, here's Wiz Khalifa. Hello from the other side. Yo! Looks like Birdman and Lil Wayne have kissed and made up. Mac Main posted this pic of them on New Year's Eve at Drake's show in Miami. And finally, Mike Tyson fell off his hoverboard, opening the floodgates to some of the best memes the internet has ever seen. <laughs> oh my God. I broke my back. Radio slithering. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, okay. oh. That's all from me, Charlie. I'm Valerie Laura. See you next week. What's next for you guys? Like, like I said, this year has been a strong year. Mm -hmm. What can we expect in 2016? You know us, Charlie. You know we always tell the people, man, don't expect nothing from us. We like giving people what's unexpected. I love that. You know, so what's next is a lot of surprises. Mm -hmm. Always going to be a lot of surprises. Like you said, every time you see us, it's just progression. growth, progression. Exactly, this is the progressive era, so nothing more, nothing less. <sighs> Lads, always good to see you, man. <laughs> you man killing it out right. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Yeah, boy. <laughs> so closing out the show, we've got an exclusive live performance from Kirk Knight and Joe Badass. Gentlemen, take it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vibe with a nigga one time. Just vibe with a, yo, badass creeper. Hey, five minutes, nigga. Let's go. Let's get him. Uh. Lust demon get horny and hornier As the kill get gorier and gorier From corridors to corner stores Catch him on the block with the office through the street Violence playing as another black prophet speaks at the thought Of another ignorant phone call Who's this calling me at 547 in the morning Crack a dawning while she moaning Bittersweet hit it both ways now I'm scorching First things first man You fucking with your hearse so rehearse Who you coming at? I I, I squitting that Captain Kirk Star Trek and playing my role Still follow scenes, tread enemy, friend and pen enemy. enemy Show no empathy, get smashed like a centipede Center energy, don't bug me with your sympathy We ran a whole train on a Still getting in my cuss from the clock tick As I elect new gods of politic uh. Could you picture the damage that we afflict uh. I'm staring at my own, own fucking death It's backwoods smoking out my motherfucker Chest. It's five minutes to death, still in bed, get her at rest As I arrest the sex pin by love reminisce Learn the art to tech, computerize love is that Roger that and shock her back to cardiac arrest I got some problems that I can't get away from If all else fails, no, I got my day ones I got five on it, keep a nigga face numb Five, five on it, keep a nigga face numb I got some problems that I can't get away from If all else fails Fails, no, I got my day one. I got five on it, keep a nigga face numb. 
fuck five on it. My chicken get fucked, bitch get hornier and hornier. Go fucking if the grip to it. I want a warning shot for the warden. Holla, say the word if you want it. I'ma bring the warden. Put peak post to your doorman. My sound reach foreign. Y'all still be local, I'm in this foreign. My vocals still ain't vocal. Rap game in a choco. I smoke those who don't know. You can get lunging in off the dope flow. Matter of fact, I float dope. Got bars by the boat low. You say you're ready for war. Boy, I just hope so. Let me vindicate for all my indicas. Syndicates what I indicate. Been the great. The Flat bush renegade niggas been afraid. Squeeze the life out you rap niggas like lemonade. Creep but say the word is I lemonade. Let's go. I got some problems that I can't get away from. If all else fails, know you got your day ones. I got five on it, keep a nigga face numb. Five, five on it, keep a nigga face numb. I got some problems that I can't get away from. If all else fails, know you got your day ones. I got five on it, keep a nigga face numb. Five, five on it, keep a nigga. Yo, five, five on it, keep a nigga face numb. Five, five on it, keep a nigga face numb. What? Five, five on it, keep a nigga face numb. What? Five, five on it, keep a nigga face numb. Hey yo, shout out to Charlie Slough, man. You already know BBC Radio. Done no things are gone. Big things are gone. Big things are gone. Always pro era, man. Pro peace. All the time.